Let me go this way. I've never really confused it. But the red car is amazing. So this place is called Hospital View. It's in Tembisa, ah, Black Township. It's just very, very, very close to the no, Tembisa Hospital. I think I've already given you a glimpse of the hospital. This is where you find these beautiful houses. And remember, it's a black neighborhood. So going up with this road is uh, Samora Mashia Street. Going up there. Some construction happening there. And this is uh, Tesia King Learning Academy. houses here guys and it is actually a clean place very smart if you would go this way you would find out it's just the same houses nice clean as you can see right here This is hospital of your section, a place, the hood, the black neighborhood that is just close by the Tembisa hospital. I've always wanted to come here. You can see there are some gates when you're getting in there, guys, on these streets. I think it's a well secured area. The people from this area, yeah, security is what comes first. That's what I see because every corner you go, there is a gate to the streets. So it's different streets here very beautiful 
houses as I can see when I'm going up here. Nice jurogos. It is a must that you should do a jurago here in South Africa. It is a must. It's the sense of security that you have when you fence your jurago just to make sure your property your property is safe. Nothing to be fussy about, but it is what it is. Yeah. It is really beautiful houses here guys. I don't know what you think of hospital view. Just decided to give you this black neighborhood. But under the same video we're gonna be doing different um different hoods, the black neighborhoods right here in Tembisa but still under the same Temb Tembisa but different sections Beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, guys, these are the houses that you find here in Hot or Hospital View. It's Hospital View. This is where you get this this uh, black neighborhood, a black township, black suburb like this one. Much definitely, it's a middle class. It's your middle class hood because you can uh, witness it by the nice buildings as you can see great houses as you can see to my left to my right all the street going up and there are different streets as we can talk about under the same neighborhood but i'm just trying to cover so that you can see you know you can have an idea of how hospital view looks as looks like So this is the different sides um, of South Africa. You get to see the best side of South Africa is this one. Only just a black neighborhood. Look at this house that I'm facing here, guys. Something like this is just amazing. It's beautiful. What could I say? Comment in the section down below what you think about this neighborhood, this black neighborhood. I think it's really is different in so many ways from these other videos that I've done of the black neighborhood. This is the rich part of the neighborhood because you can see even the streets. Look at these streets. Smart, yeah. Though not everything can be 100% right. 
but this is quite a beautiful neighborhood. And to be honest, I love what I'm seeing here. Look at that. I'm not so sure. Or the next one. Yeah. Thank you. You can imagine I'm giving people directions as if I know this place well. Why the fact is, I think I've seen that buck when I was passing by, so that's the reason why I could be able to give them a direction. Meaning to say, the people from here are good people. Can I say From the bustling hustling street if you just turn to your left to your right whichever the way you turn you got to see this type of houses yeah so this continues just like this going up as you can see i think most of the houses here yeah, they were rdp houses i think those were given by the state by then back in the time and uh, most of them they've re renovated their houses, extended their houses to look like this. Amazing.
So these are the ordinary black township uh, that you see here in Tembisa. Just about to be finding what section this is, but it's completely a different section as like in uh, hospital view. As you can see, there's some great difference, but I'm just giving you the difference between different classes, different locations, depending on your pocket. Driving. The main street, we're just trying to walk, diverting the roots, getting inside the wood, but using the same street. These are different locations, guys. The different classes, but in the same township as Tembisa, but different sections. Yeah. Just want to give you what life is real like here. Yeah. So Tembisa is quite massive, There's so many different sections in the same township as Tembisa. Tembisa has so many cases, different sections, as big as it is. I don't know guys if you've heard of Tembisa before. Tembisa is one of the big uh, black townships known here in South Africa. The likes of Alexandra, Soweto and so on. Tembisa is quite known, very known with um, so many celebrities coming from here. 
as well as TV stars, influencers, mom, many other people. It's Tembisa for you. In many other sections here in Tembisa, it's known to be very rough, it's known to be very dangerous. Some of these other sections you feel you'll see people say hey don't go there it's like this it's like that but uh, as I always say these things these hearsays in most cases they're just hearsays a lot of exaggeration of course bad things does happen like in other country like I always say guys you know you just need to be vigilant in everywhere you go because anything can happen anywhere But I'm just here to be showing you places. I just need you to understand better uh, what Af South Africa is all about. Especially checking with the di these different hoods. I'm not only just going to be giving you the most beautiful areas, but I also want to give you this type of areas and they are beautiful as they are the people are happy here is uh wherever you see the bustling hustling of people then you know there is life there is always life where there is bustling and bustling of people. So many people would say something like that. And it's very true. When you see people walking around like this, selling stuff, building houses, then you know there is life. You can look there. Look at these people, they are renovating this house, look. Something good. <laughs> um, they call this place here Bingo. You guys, you are staying around here in Tembisa. I'm passing through this place as Bingo. And going up straight, straight from here, you'll be going to Swaz Inn. I, I, don't, I don't know if you know this place that is called Swaz Inn, guys. So this is Bingo. That's what I was just told from my research, from the people that I've just asked. They told me this place is Bingo. There's some robots in front of me. This is a black neighborhood and giving you life as it is honest i just want you guys to understand much better about different um places different times different people how does it feel to be walking these kinds of streets here in this kind of woods townships So I'm just going to be stretching out with this street here, going up straight and I'll be also diverting, getting inside the wood, showing, how, showing you how it looks like. As you can see, when you keep on, because this is completely in the township, guys, and uh, you've got to see people selling some properties and all that. Some furnishers. It's amazing. So, uh, trying to do the business from from the location, from the township, making a living out of that. And the owners of uh, of this 
the distance of these houses most of them they've got some they are the landowners right and they've got some tenants there old have paying some rent and then they make a living out of that that's the living here in south africa sometimes people will be like look at you weird <laughs> but don't be scared maybe it's something that they see of you that they're not used to or maybe they've noticed something that you might be doing so don't be scared when that happens or maybe to say now because people are reacting like we are to you so they are now dangerous people it's, it's never like that everyone is is like wants to know if they see something that you're doing that they don't understand everyone anyone even any one of you you'll be just like so it shouldn't um make you fear just continue with the thing that you're doing but be very vigilant that's all i can say Ooh. So, as you can see, the trust is put is, is here, is placed here. It's not to say it will stay there forever. There is a car, there's a truck, you know, a refuse truck that is always like coming to this hood here and picking up the stuff collecting that garbage to go throw it away so um, whatever the garbage that you see on the street for an example like this one in front of me don't you think it will stay there forever it's just a point where the collection starts from As you can see, the skilled workers here, yeah, the skilled people who are working for themselves. I think you can see this guy is doing welding. Those guys who just passed there, making some window frames, door, door frames, and all that stuff, which is amazing for a black, a black community. I don't think we'll have to call these people less fortunate. They are very much capable and they are making a good living out of this and some of them those are the ones you see them owning these houses renovating them to be looking like this or extending their houses from the RRDP houses because you see this stands this is quite an old location with quite old old RDP houses meaning to say whoever now is staying in these RDP houses it's either they bought it from someone who used to be the owner of this place or it's a family the forefathers has already paused the ones who were the real owners of the place of the houses So it's just like passing from father to son, mother to daughter, because this is quite an old location, very old location, even during the, the apartheid era. These houses were already there. And 
a guest house less is how much am I rooms work 170 a night okay that's a guest house guys okay Chitinga chat chatinga what is the name of the guest house here Satinga guest house okay there is that guest house, guest house right here in the black neighborhood how impressive a lot of business here people are building as you can see along this street here guys as you can see so much business is happening there as you can see this other guy there is selling some tires right in the location there is also an abc that's a daycare for those who are going to work they'll just have to leave their kids here this is Tembisa for you guys different sections sections with uh, very cool houses and places as well that is just average but you can see people they're living their lives here in these houses you have known everyone to be having a high durable house but you can see some of the houses around here they don't have that high zero as such you can easily jump with this zero over here so um, i'm just trying to clear this thing when they say uh, you guys you put your houses in a prison with that high zero and this and that blah 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 <laughs> a lot is said It's a beautiful hood, guys. I love what I'm seeing here. Everything is just too special. This is the real life in South Africa in different sections, guys. Let me just give some something to you. Let's just walk past the uh, this market here. Yeah? Thank you. 
the real hustling and bustling of the streets here. Let's just keep on going down with the streets. Let's see what they are doing there. So guys, don't you mistake this for anything? This is right here in the location and this is Swazin. this is a really a hectic place guys a really 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 hectic I don't know I'm just gonna keep on walking here someone yeah. yeah. boss yeah. 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 thank you yes. So yeah guys I'm right here in Swazin. You can't believe I managed to come this side yeah. to walk in between people and also where people are there where they are not congested so that we can have a, a fair share This is a real big market that you find here in Swazin.
This is a crazy market guys, a really crazy market. hustling and bustling of this place shows people are living making money everyone is selling something for someone so this is the wood that you find just very close to that called Swazin the bustling and hustling of Swazin guys it's a market it's a street market where you can get everything that you can you just want from fruits vegetables chicken anything you can get it from there at this experience and when you're going down there it's Swazin Ivory Park I think uh, Tembisa is just neighboring this place here so let's get back to Tembisa now. It's a crazy market. A crazy day. Yeah, I'm making it money out of this a good living out of this don't take this for granted guys this is life Yeah, we're on tour. And then we're going send a link here in the video. Okay, sharp, isn't it? Okay, now we're going to send it. Sharp, sharp.
so as I was saying guys um, this is Swaz Inn Swaz Inn actually falls under under Ivor Park and Ivor Park is just the neighboring of Tembisa so straight after showing you this market I just wanted to show you the, the bustling and hustling of people here in South Africa in their markets street markets that you do find in um, in the black neighborhood in the black township so this one is uh, Ivory Park a black township I don't know if it falls under Johannesburg or it falls under Pretoria or is it me drums So we are just gonna be finishing our market. Then after that, I'm just gonna be taking you back into Tembisa. After this, I'll be taking you back into Tembisa, guys. Walk with me. Look at this. This is the Tembisa for you guys. This looks like a tavern. This is the black neighborhood. This is Tembisa. And this place is called Phillips Place. It's a tavern. See what I see from here. Especially when right in front of me, you can see how Tebisa spreads. I think over there is Ivor Park after Tembisa Park because Ivor Park is just neighboring Tembisa. Tembisa is massive, Ivor Park is massive, but what you see here right now is Tembisa. Which section is this? I'm not so sure. I don't want to I'm not so sure about this section. But it's, it's a really is a different route, totally. But I think it's a sunway. This is a sunway. If I'm not mistaken, this is a sunway. Another one told me we must do a powerful research. I'm actually thinking of going this way. So you see guys, going this way, 
it's Pechekas trying to do a lot of areas around here Tembisa though there are different sections uh, making a thorough research of this massive area as it is and give you exactly each section under one video it's a little bit difficult but I'm trying to do my best so that you know exactly when you're somewhere around here where are you but uh, if I carry on going on with this road I'll be going straight to Beach Hackers Beach Hackers I think you guys who stays around here you know where Beach Hackers exactly is you can comment in the comment section and maybe help the audience as well where I'm walking right now what is the name of this area here that's where we are together guys because I can't be right in everything sometimes I'll just come to a place and I'll just start walking yeah it is what it is don't confuse it for anything it's a black neighborhood the one that I'm just showing you the guys right now as you look up there it's Tembisa the black township very known in South Africa let's just walk around this is Lazarus Mawela, St Mawela station it's quite a, be a beautiful station guys right here uh, in uh, in Tembisa get you into this wood here guys uh, look at this amazing bridge I think we'll cross over it when we're coming over this side and going to this side here the amazing black neighborhood I'm just gonna find out what section that we are going to do now the one just we're just going to walk up here This is the amazing Tembisa, the amazing black neighborhood for you guys. I don't know what they do here but I'm just curious I would also want to know what's the name of this this area here this wood here we are under Tembisa though I know Someone is in Jan. It's a third who is in Lenda or Spionale. It is one. It's somewhere. So it's somewhere in Kala Kufi Pelelago. You're not sure. Okay. Nyabo. Thank you, sis. All right, guys. I was just asking this lady here. Asking what's the name of this area here. I've been told it's somewhere. It's somewhere. So I was right from the start, but someone once told me someone is somewhere around here. So 
so we're just gonna go this way guys let's mingle with these people we just want to see their daily lives in the locations like this one's a black neighborhood so you can see where we started our vlog from the hospital of Easter way far away from here That's the song going for you. So this is a sanguine. You can even see it's written here. So this one is a sanguine tavern. Oh. Africa is not what you think guys there's so many different kind of vibes Malini Pop that was some street food there they said it's starting from 40 rand going upward so the plate is that big table <laughs> they don't need any small plates you just have to use that big table so the thing is you can line the five of you the same table and the dish you on the same table the only difference will be the food the porridge all kind of porridge that they would have to put in a plate in a plastic plate that's how they dish it so boys like wanted to walk here up here so that we can see the visuals from this point here and also we go up and try to get the visuals from a little bit upper there both both directions so this is a sangweni this is tembisa for you guys it's a black neighborhood, a black location, a black township. What do you think? It's just amazing to be walking here, guys. If you're liking the video so far, please just hit that subscribe button. Also, the notification icon, so that it's very important to be hitting those, those icons. And I, I, I mean, the notification icons nowadays. Because once you hit that, at least you'll be notified every time that I upload a, a new video. 
and also share the content to your friends and all that yeah it's a little bit locked up so we cannot see well that side but you know the beauty of the bridge as you can see the sky the sun is coaching us there and this place is called a Zangwen. right so I don't know which way I should be using I think I should go this way let me go this way it's an amazing it's, it's a amazing view guys as you can see whilst we are doing this black neighbors I didn't want anyone to be to feel left out when I'm doing some videos here on this channel there are so many videos guys that I've done in the touristic areas you can go watch them in Cape Town, in Durban, so many other areas the wine testing and all that but we also need these kind of places we also need to show these kind of places whereby only the negativity is portrayed from these kind of places the lies you know the exaggerations um you know all those type of things that is being said about these locations and actually it's it is all lies because you'd see the things that they say about these locations is not it's not exactly like this there is a lot there are loving people here there are people who are living their perfect life in these locations here guys they have real perfect life yes i can see there is um sometimes crime does happen um you know bad things does happen and those bad people bad guys trying to tarnish um you know trying to tarnish the location trying to talk uh, uh, tarnishing the, the neighborhoods and all that stuff but we cannot press on that you know maybe it's only the 20 percent of those people who are doing wrong things that will tarnish the whole 80 percent of a place so guys we just have to look at it in a larger perspective of, uh, of a situation of what will be taking place in an area before we we charge it you know, the locations like these ones as you can see it's hectic yes you'll find out their houses like this it's not really nice they're old people some of people cannot manage the less fortunate they cannot manage to upgrade their houses so let's not judge a place because of that there is life here guys there is life a lot of good is happening here come walk with me location here is called Mutambega this is Mutambega it's an old castle guys a lot used to be happening here during the apartheid era when uh, the police vehicles were still yellow when the Whoopi Goldberg was still doing the movies around here <laughs> you remember that movie it's Sarafina yeah this is the Tembisa this, this section has been shown in different videos when it comes to apartheid the tether times of apartheid you know when bad things were still happening this is quite an odd location and I believe you will get to know something about South Africa we just google Mutambega, Mutambega location township and get me right this location falls under Tembisa this is still Tembisa but those are the one of the oldest locations right here in Tembisa that you guys I just feel I needed to show you places that you must you must just see you know and experience life as it is in different sections of Tembisa
the amazing Tembisa for you guys. Let's subscribe to the channel and thanks to you all who are sharing my content, helping to grow this channel. I don't take that for granted. Thank you so much. And all the super, ch the super chats, uh, the, that is also super stickers, super chats that is coming to these um, videos that also help me in this traveling. Also, I'll be searching for the content for you. So I don't take that for granted. Thank you so much to help this channel grow. This is in Tambega. Guys, I've been walking Tembisa since morning. And if you check time right now, you can see with the sun there. It's getting late. It's when the whole day we're walking here, trying to shoot all the parts of Tembisa and then a little bit of Ivor Park. I think I've shown you the part of Ivor Park, the hectic one, that market area. Very interesting. This was the inn, they call it as was in that area. So this is in Tambega for you. <laughs> so along the way guys you find there are a lot of businesses happening saloons and um, you on, also you have to find the surgeries in our shops and those who are selling tires there is a lot that happens along these main roads right in the middle of the township the black neighborhood it's a very interesting guys and it's very amazing and um, it's, it's just good it feels good to be walking here and guys let me remind you something these woods that i'm walking right now you would find some saying those are dangerous woods they in tembisa those are kind of feared wood because a lot of crime does happen here or it harbors some criminals and all that hearsay that you say these are the locations that i'm walking and um Okay, I just want to go show you. I want to go show you this, this side of Mtambega Wood, right inside the, um, the Kasi, so that at least it will help you understand how their houses are standing like. And you can see these houses and these locations, they are real different. They come in different aspects, they come in different kind of life you know the old location the kind of new locations but not really new but also the those uh, black neighborhoods that has been greatly in, improvised they have built nice houses and you can see there is a little bit difference with this old old neighborhoods like Mutandega in Tembisa as you can see for yourself stands out to be like this but at the same time it is really amazing to be right here guys experiencing this tour here all right guys as i'm walking 
you pass through Mtambega is actually very near Mlonjaneni. Mlonjaneni is a section that is close to Mtambega. So this is the Mlonjaneni that I'm walking right now. It's just neighboring the Mtambega that I've been just showing you. Though I didn't show you the wall of Mtambega, I just took a little bit of pieces of Mtambega. And this one that I'm showing you right now is Mlonjaneni. You can see it's, it's a different vibe, but still, it's life. You know, people are living. Don't judge. You can't judge. These areas, in most cases, they say they are dangerous. They see danger when they see what what they see now. Maybe these dustbins in the road, in the streets like this, and. And they think maybe dirty goes with crime. But lucky enough, guys, we cannot say this is dirty because you can say these are dustbins, right? These are dustbins out here with the trash in there. So they've been taken out. Most probably they're waiting for uh, for that refuse truck that comes and picks up this garbage. I think today, in most cases, you find out when they put the, their beans outside, it's a day when this truck comes and collects the garbage. There are some days, it goes with days, maybe let's say it's every Monday, every Wednesday, or it's every Friday that the truck passes and collects the garbage in that area. That's why you see there's these dust winds that is outside their stands. In most cases, that these dust winds, you'll find them inside. You stay with the dust bin inside. But if it's a day when the, the, uh, the truck is supposed to be coming to, truck, to collect the refuse, that's when you find them outside like this. So this has given me a great opportunity of trying to do the best I can from Tambisa and give you all the locations around here.